Hi. A very warm welcome to Dr. Abha Chemistry Park Shala. I'm here with a very interesting uh, reaction of alkylated benzene with uh, a strong oxidizing agent. Uh, I am not uh, digressing the topic from the oxidation of benzene to the oxidizing agents. But so let us pick up any oxidizing agent. You know, uh, toline, that is a benzene derivative, methyl benzene, can be oxidized into benzoic acid in the presence of alkaline K menophore followed by its hydrolysis or potassium dichromate in presence of conch H2SO4. I shall be making a separate video on oxidizing agent with their relative strength. This time, let us only focus on how the process of oxidation takes place on the benzene and its derivative. I am assuming only k uh, followed by KOH and hydrolysis with an acid for all the reactions. You can take potassium dichromate plus H2SO4, that's absolutely fine, right? So class, let's get started with a simple, uh, most simple uh, methylated benzene that is toline, right? Now, when we take an oxidizing agent, something like MnO4, what we have to ensure is that the carbon which is attached to the benzene ring, the carbon which is attached to the benzene ring, that is the point of attack. So, if this carbon, if this carbon has minimum one hydrogen, we are in safe zone, the oxidation is possible. And always, the whole of this, the whole of this and this carbon, guys, this one, this whole, this has to give one benzoic acid. So if the process of oxidation of alkylated benzene is taking place, we should be getting, for such a case, we should be getting benzoic acid. Now what is happening since we have other side, we have only HH. Right, so we will not get any other byproducts here and we are only getting benzoic acid. Now, if we take something like this, if we take something like this, if you want, you can call it segbutyl benzene, right, or uh, methylpropyl benzene, let's not get into IUPAC, right? So, uh, now what is happening is the carbon which is attached to the benzene the carbon which is attached to the benzene. That carbon is attached to an alkyl group on one side and another alkyl group on another side. So now guys, be very careful what will happen. First, just see if the carbon has got hydrogen. Is wale carbon ke paas hydrogen hai? Hai. Aap safe zone mein ho, oxidation ho sakta hai. To ek to beta benzoic acid banega hi banega. So I have written benzoic acid. Now let's see, uh, uh, check the other products. Now what will happen? The rest of the breakdown takes place from here or here. Now guys, this carbon alkyl group, how many carbon are there? Only one. So organic, you know, is a game of number of carbons. So ek carbon ka jo bhi acid hoga, wo ban jayega. That is your formic acid. Either care back to back, two carbon lines se laga hua hai, right? One and after, so it's a single, you know, two carbons in a single chain. So this is going to be a, a an ethanoic acid. So yeah, two carbon acid you will get, and here you will get one carbon acid. So that actually gives you three products, but we are getting four products. J main ka bahut common question aata hai. Is structure ko bana dete hai aur A plus B plus C plus D aapko guess karna hota hai. But since the options are there, you are able to do it, right? Now, so what will happen? Ethanoic acid is fine. Two carbons you get, ethanoic acid. One carbon you get formic acid, but formic acid under those conditions of oxidation doesn't stay as formic acid. So, what will you give to the child? It water or carbon dioxide. De dega. So, the number of products will increase. So, how many products you will have? You will have benzoic acid, right? For that carbon which is attached to the benzene ring, you will have acetic acid. For the two carbons which are directly attached to the carbon which is attached to the benzene ring, and H2O and CO2 you will get from the single carbon. So we are getting four products. Let's take one more example. Look at this example. In this example, we have benzene having one side it has got, this carbon has, one side has ethyl and other side it has isopropyl. Okay, 
So let's first look at that whether the hydrogen is there or not. Yes, hydrogen is very much there. So oxidation is possible and one of the product is going to be benzoic acid for sure. Okay, the other side it is two carbons which are continuously attached to each other. So this will give us a two carbon acid which is an ethanoic acid. Okay, now there's something very interesting on the other side. This is not a propyl group, this is an isopropyl group. So the point of attachment is guys, the point of attachment is from this carbon. Am I making sense? It is from this carbon. So guys, this carbon has to get converted to an acid for sure. Because either wala bhi acid ban rahe and this also has to get converted to acid. So now you know it very well that carboxylic acid cannot be a, a, a center function group. It's a terminal function group. Beach mein nahi lag sakta hai. So what will happen is now various, the, the, there are going to be even more possibilities. Now, but this is a very, very symmetrical diagram. On one side, one alkyl. On other side, uh, one alkyl. So ye dono kya karenge? either these two or these two. Do to banayenge ethanoic acid or ek kya banata hai bache? Ek banata hai alak se acid which is formic acid. So, kaun kaun si products humare banenge? So, one is going to be benzoic acid as we are getting in all the cases. Right? Great. And uh, one is ethanoic acid and formic acid. Formic acid. So, ethanoic acid, ethanoic acid, this carbon will give formic acid and formic acid under those conditions will give you H2O and CO2. So again you are getting four products. So quickly let's do one more example. So suppose you have third butyl. Suppose you have third. This carbon has got three methyl groups attached. You have third butyl uh, benzene. So what is going to be the oxidized product? There is no hydrogen, so this will not undergo oxidation under these conditions. It will not undergo. So I hope this was some value addition to you. If you want, you can work out on many more structures and can try the products, right? And if there are any doubts, please revert to me. Uh, you have any other topic in your mind on which you want me to upload a video? Please come up with those suggestions. Okay, so that was it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.